So I'm going straight to first order PD. So that is. All right, so we are going to start with the first order. In fact, the whole course, the whole course that we are doing here is where the beginning is. So what we did was just introduction. Just introduction because we are now going to see how to solve those uh, the for the what equation the characteristic equation the linear the semi linear we are going to look at it again here. Uh, and uh, I can see linear and the All right. So the concept for the concept. You have it already. Because the, the concept is that you have to know what a first order linear PD is. And you know already. You have to know first order PD. You know first order PD. Uh, you know first order nonlinear PD. If it's not linear, then it's what? Nonlinear. And you know the conditions. The same thing as the one we have to know at OG. But just at that place, we have the y to be the dependent variable in this case the y to the jury the dependent okay we also know a first order semi-linear pd already or well, i should be showing you examples yes yes oh but i think the last time we discussed and we also have the equation pd equation pd that equation linear pd okay let's summarize it we said that for the linear uh-huh what happened? For the linear, what happened? Let's summarize so that we can have the rest. For the PD. Uh -huh. Somebody should summarize for us. Uh -huh. First, it must be. Dependent variable in the no, 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 the U. Because of the U. The function and the dependent or a transcendental function and the dependent of what? Well, okay. And you know this thing. And any equation in terms of U square, that means that there is a product of the what? The two functions. So it become a nonlinear. All right, it means the degree of the Yeah, yeah. The degree of the dependent should be what? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So for the linear, uh, we can get the example like u subscript s. Let's write it. Plus u subscript u is equal to four. This is first order p. First order p. Second order p. Okay, we can also get S U subscript S plus Y U subscript Y plus In fact, the reason why I'm repeating this is because they very very important as to what we are going to do today. Because if the question is there, nobody is going to tell you that this is a semi-linear, this is a quasi linear or whatever. And the, how we apply in the solving is different. We are going to use the characteristic equation in solving the rest. Uh, the question is another. So that is first order linear PD. We also have 
If it's not linear, then it will be what? Non-linear. So we can also have first order non-linear PD. In fact, all that we are going to do, we are not going to see uh, second order or uh, no, it's just the first order, first order. So this one is first order linear. And in the is this one a first order linear? Would this one be first order linear? First order non-linear. Non linear, yeah. So this can be an example of first order what? Non linear. Okay. So that is it. That is it. What about this? The second one. First order non linear. First order non linear. Please help me straight. Alright. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's also summarize this one for them. Um, the semi-linear. Semi-linear is a case whereby uh, semi-linear is a case whereby I think we summarize the whereby you multiply the you want the variable the function dependent variable. It multiplies it. No. 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 Okay, okay. So for this uh for the semi-linear well, you have to know that the dependent variable u is multiplying only the function but not its what the derivative. That one is multiplying only the what the function but not its what the derivative. We can get example like we can get example like s u subscript s plus y u subscript y plus u square equal to x square. You know, we can see that the dependent variable u is multiplying the function. Yeah. When we say the function, any of the independent variable can serve as a function. So the s here, well, where is it? Where is it? Aha, and then the u square. Then, like, okay. <laughs> um, S minus y squared, this is a function, and it's multiplying the first derivative. We can also say that this one too is a semi linear. We can also say that it's a semi linear. I'll explain. We can also say that it's a semi linear. It's a semi linear. It's a semi linear. All right, let's go to the question linear. That one, I have summarized. The case whereby this one, the function must play the derivative, but not what? The function, but not the what? The derivative. What about the question linear? The function is multiplying the derivative. Yeah, yeah. Hey, something. Yeah, yeah, that's another question. So because of that one, you know, that would change. Yeah. Okay, so for the question here, yeah. so yes, this is the function. So is it a sign you that is making it semi linear? Yeah. Yeah. That's a question. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Let's also take note that for the question linear, please, what we are doing is very important because you know we can't do whatever we want to. For the equation linear, we also establish that that one, the function u, the function u, here the function u multiplies the what? The derivative. No, yeah, the same linear. The u multiplies the function, but not. But here we can get the both here. Here we can get a function multiplying the what? The derivative. That makes it first in the Base or The function, the dependent variable multiplying the what? The derivative. The same way you can see that 
the uh, dependent variable multiplying the what? The, the function is still the same thing. I think that's why we established it. So we can get example like we can get example like with the first y square minus u square u sub s plus u sub s you see that one you see that is a dependent variable here multiply the derivative simply it is what base side Okay, please, based on what you are going to do, uh, fully non linear is not important. Okay, so we are going to start the solution to first order PD from the beginning is like verify whether a certain uh, it's a solution to that one, they don't know how to derive it. So let's leave that part. There, there are a lot of things that we don't. There are some. There are bad here, but you see that. Okay, so let's start with solving first order linear equation with constant coefficient using the directional derivatives. Using right. the directional derivatives. You can write solving. Solving first order linear equation. Solving first order linear equations with constant coefficient using directional derivatives. Okay. 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 It's all right. Solving first order linear equations with constant coefficients. With constant coefficients. Please, we have, uh, when we get to solving the, using the characteristic equation, we will use the characteristic equation to solve BD with constant coefficient. They are not the same as this. So don't contradict yourself. Solving first order linear equation with constant coefficient using directional derivative. Here we are using directional derivative. But that one, we are going to use characteristics to equation. They are not the same. And with this, please, you don't need any bunch of stuff. Let me emphasize on this. The solution, the solution is in the form F. Bx minus a y. That's all. This is the solution. You got it. This is the solution. So when the question is given to you, you just need to identify your a, your b. That is all. But <laughs> but if the i b is included. Then it means that it becomes a faulty one problem. So let's start with the first question. Solve the find the general solution of the equation. Find the general solution of the equation. Why are you there by you? And how do we identify the A? The B and the what? And the C. Sorry, the A and the what? The B. The general form is U subscript X plus B U subscript what? Y. This is the general form we call to whatever. I always correct. So you just need to identify it. The A, that is the coefficient of what? The partial derivative with respect to what? X plus A. So looking at what we have, what is going to be our A? What is going to be our B? So what is the solution? Simply the solution is there are some proofs, but nobody will ask you to prove anything. So here will be S minus what? What? That's all. This is the solution. You are done. 
This is using the directional what? Please yeah. listen to it well. This is using the directional what? Derivative. Yeah. In fact, using the directional derivative is sharper. Yeah. That makes it easy. Now, we know that the A is the coefficient of this. The B is the coefficient of this. So that the substitution and that's all. Okay. How would you know whether that is the solution or not? For you to know whether it's the solution, you can take the derivative, the partial derivative of this as respect to x. You want to verify if truly truly is a solution. Because we know that in verifying solution you will be the same as pd. For it to be solution, you have to get zero is equal to what? Zero. So for this to be equation, take the partial derivative of this as respect to x. Again, take the partial derivative as respect to y. Go for it and let me see. Uh -huh. Then after that, we just add to see whether we are going to get zero equal to zero. Maybe you are doubting that it's not a solution, so let's compare. So, taking the <laughs> derivative of x <laughs> as respect to x, what would it be? One. Okay. You see, in the function in terms of what? Another function. Same. Alright? Here yeah, we are not doing integration. Differentiation. Differentiation. This is a function. I want to differentiate That's as respect to x. You know what I'm saying? This is a function you should know subscript here. Yeah, but x, no. The subscript x means that I'm taking the derivative as respect to x, not undoing the what? The derivative. Okay. So, chain rule. Yeah. So, you differentiate the whole thing. Now you differentiate the what? The inside. When you differentiate the inside, we are treating as respect to it. So we are treating y as y. Constant. That means this will be what? Zero. And when we sorry, when we differentiate this, what will you get? So it will remain the same. I hope it's clear. 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 Then let's go back to the function again. By treating y as constant. The whole of thing, the whole of this. Mm -hmm. That'll be negative. Then we differentiate the inside negative. by treating x as constant. So that will be negative. Now, for you to see whether it's an equation or not, you just have to add the two and see if you get zero equal to zero. If you don't get zero to because of zero, that means that it's not what the solution. Add it and see. You get zero to become zero. That is the solution. That's all about directional thing. Yes. For this particular question, if you take what is in the bracket and show the answer, you get the same. So I don't know whether it arrives or all the solution. Before you take this, X minus it will depend on the question. It will depend on the question. Let's 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 add one more. That one, let's pick because after that we will move on from here. Let's pick the one which is in terms of the IVP. So anytime you see a partial equation and uh, it's included with an IVP, why they don't give it to me? Coaching or blah blah. Okay. I hope it's clear. It's more about identifying the A and the what? The B. The B to put the side. Huh? Or that shit. Eh, G, that's the dad, or that's not that you. Yeah, there is a poop, 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 but that's not that you. Yeah, shop, but that's not that you. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, let's try this question. Solve the PD. Solve the PD. Make sure you identify your A and the B work. Yeah. 
Aku kasih pilih anak mu waya nak sama pak. Ini dia itu legend mereka kerja nama. Okay, now it's included with Ali. You don't go for that. You you, you forget Ali for now. Just give me the uh, the general solution. So this is a general solution. This is a general solution. Okay. So what is going to be the answer? Four S plus three Y. Check well. Negative three S minus four Y. Please. The thing you are comparing to four are three. The thing you are comparing to is this. This is what we are comparing to. So in general, there is class there. And this one be in general, there is one in general. Now in general, three given. Four X. Still, the B is at the side. A is four. A is four, so that will be B is four. Now, if you doubt, you can take partial derivative as respect to S, partial derivative as respect to Y, add equal to zero. If you don't get zero, to equal to zero. So let's move on. Please, I, I, I hope the concept is clear. Vice President. Now, from here, you are vice from here, we want to apply the words. Please. From here, we want to apply the words. The coach. Right? Or the IV. So, take note. This means that this is a point. And if it's a point, this should do what? In the last time you met me, this is what? S ordinates. This would be Y ordinates. 3. There can be a case. Y would be here. 0 would be here. It doesn't mean that Y ordinates uh, is this place. It's now it's low. Even if you see that place with Y squared, it's still S ordinates. Let's take note of that. It's like a point. No matter what you get. And it's going to do what? The U. You see, the U is Y raised, uh, raised to the power. Three. Why not you raise to the power? You see that? So no matter what is there, this is the x, this is the y, and this is the what? So x is zero, y is y, u is y to the power three. Uh, then after our last week meeting, I gave you some questions to try, and you are not getting it. In the same way as we did the one question that we solved. I don't know how we need to go about it, but then after this, everything will be okay. So now, by substitution, we are going to get the whole of this is what? Y key. Then, or you can also write it this way, see the same Y. In terms of x and y, it's because most negative three times. Please, what is y? Sorry, what is x? Zero. Zero minus four times. What is y? Ah, what is y? Y is y. Equal to what is u? Okay, so we see y cube. So we are going to get what? P is zero, negative four, y. Equal to y raised to the power. From here. Huh? Uh, from here, I'm going to choose small gymnastics, but you will get the proof.
small gymnastics here. Now, like it's they're similar to the one that we did. You see, here is not the first that thing that term we didn't G. It's not defined because we don't see something like f of y, right? It's not defined. So we are going to set or let p to be called to let's see. We are going to let p to be called to the inside here. The inside there is what? Please get this one straightforward because after here, when we get to the other ones, we are going to be meeting some of these. This is going to be negative for y. Automatically, see, please listen. Automatically, when you set p to be equal to whatever is inside here, automatically, or let me say by default, but you won't see it, it's the same as this. It's a substitution that changes it. Can't we say that P is equal to this before we come and read the substitution? Yeah, yeah. We can say that P is equal to this, then we do the substitution, you're going to get negative for Y. Yeah, yeah. Clear? Yeah. Clear? Yeah. <laughs> so, when you set P to be equal to the inside here, by default, it's the same as this. So we make y the subject and we get what? P over negative 4. You see that? So wherever you see y here, then you put y there. So we are going to get Negative four p, or you can write f of p. Very good. Then here will be k k. Then what do you get? B to the power three. Since it's a uh, 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 an odd number, the negative will bounce back. Here will be. So listen. So listen. See, see, see. So listen. We are ending. Uh, I'll come back again. You know, I'll come back again. But let me continue with those who are getting busy. All right, please. Before you uh, your spirit for catching me, cut off. Listen, we know that this speed. Is the same as this, true or false? True. Then do the substitution. And that is the particular solution. So we are going to get, because we are not the P is the same as, we are not going to write this again. The P is the same as what? Negative 3s minus 4y. So wherever you see P, you put Y there. Negative 3s minus 4y. Oh. So you get negative, negative 3s minus 4y. All over three, all over sixty-four. So this becomes a particular solution. Oh, and a particular solution. I'll go back. No way. And, a, and a particular solution. And to be the same thing. We are ending this with detail. We are we are finding the by this one was the general this is the general solution. This is the general solution. Uh huh. Oh, I I I will come back and explain. Don't worry. Special attention. Ma, the same thing. The same thing. So uh, when you read this part, when you read this part, therefore. The solution is because now this is in terms of what? X and what? What? So the solution is uh, by this negative will come. Please, uh, let me go back. Let me go back. I hope you are okay after this part. Getting the, uh, the general solution. This is the general solution. Please, I hope you are watching. This is the general solution. So when we are applying the torch or the IBC, this means the U is this, S is this, Y is this. Very good. 
So whenever you see that, we play it. And this is what we are going to say. I hope you have to have today's part. Now, from here, I'm saying that from here, you are going to set P. Here, there, F is going to be fine for you like X. If it's, if let's say here, you get to say, you, when you, are, you, you get a similar question, you get to know. So when you get to this part, we are going to, this is like we are going to set the whole of this to be called to P. But what I'm saying is that, watch you. What I'm saying is that, this is what you may not get. What I'm saying is that, setting P to be equal to this, is the same as setting P to be equal to this. When we set P to be equal to negative 3S minus 4Y, do the substitution there and see what you get for P. You see that? So by default, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> like, no, I know. That is the condition you are giving. You are giving IVP. You are giving the IVP. Here is a general solution. You want to get the particular solution. You see that? You want to get the particular solution. So, this is a general solution. So, in getting the particular solution, you have to use the forge or the IVP to do the substitution. But what I'm saying is that. The P that you always say, any time, even in the video, you hear, set P to be equal to this. But when it gets to doing the, uh, writing a particular solution, you will see where you will be bringing this thing where if you don't take a unit The reason is that setting P to be equal to the inside here is the same as the P. It's not the negative for what? But the P is rather negative 3S minus 4 what? Because when you say, you see that, when you say P to be equal to negative 3x minus 4y and you do the substitution, you are going to get, I hope there is x zero, I'm telling you, x zero. So you get negative 4y, you know the same as the P. So, um, let me come. We saw that one before, we said that let P be equal to that. Yeah. And we substitute the value of P. I'm saying that uh -huh. since we said our P is equal to minus 4Y, uh -huh. then definitely we should put negative 4Y over where we have the negative 3 as minus 4Y key. Exactly. Where? We have to put this here. Then, where? Where you have to see where? Yeah, good. And what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Is that the confusion here? No. Zero. We are not. Okay, so what's the answer? Yeah, we giving them the and I already didn't change it. It like a composite function, like what I said the other time. But you have to uh, bear in mind that here we are writing the particular solution. Uh, what made this negative for Y in the application of the coach or the IDP? So we don't we, we don't want to go and use that again. So for you to get that idea that why don't we substitute negative for y? Think of it that it is the same as this. That's what I'm talking about. And that is it. <laughs> and if it is dry, it's a shop that we are giving. So see, so after yeah, you may buy the subject. Uh, so, it's easy. 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 Even here, where you do the substitution, uh, you can choose not to bring this to You can choose to set it to be to the inside and do your substitution there. If only you know that your you will be this. I you getting what I'm saying. If only you know that your you will be equal to that P. Uh, so you know anything for you. Uh, grab it that one. So this is. How we use the directional what derivative in solve just this 
you get your general solution, then back up back. Okay, okay. Claire. Claire, Claire. Senior. So is, is this the normal method of this one. This is when you are asked to use a directional derivative. We are going to uh, solve, we are going to look for the general solution or the particular solution for a semi-linear equation. Uh, Passive linear equation. But first of all, linear, semi linear is a question. These things will be coming back. Uh -huh. Like the question I gave you. You don't get the insight to be like in terms of what you like, have. You set it to record. I want you to do that to be. That question is even in the book. That question is here. Okay, please. Uh, we are here because we understand it. Oh, <laughs> But we have, we have a lot to do, but that's, 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 that's,